We're gonna make a girl version of Frankenstein's monster. Let's call her Frankie. Here's the paper you're gonna need. Large sheet of orange, nine by 12 inches, and then all of the other colors are gonna be four and a half by six inches. These are the other materials you will need. Glue, scissors, pencil, and then either a white colored pencil or a black marker. Those are optional. All right, guys, let's begin. Um, for Frankie, she's got two purple bows in her hair. So you're gonna need a little bit of extra purple paper for this project. So instead of using just one piece of purple, you might need to get two, okay? So first let's do her shoulders. So for that, we're just going to, you can draw in pencil for this. We're gonna round out the top two corners of this rectangle, all right? I'm drawing in black colored pencil so you guys can see it better on the camera. But you guys can draw in regular pencil, it'll work just fine. Okay, next you're gonna need your scissors and we're gonna cut along that curved line to round out her shoulders like that. This is gonna be her shirt. All right, then we're gonna glue that to the bottom of her orange paper. You could use glue stick for this too. I like to use the white bottled glue. It holds a little bit better. Okay, glue that on the bottom. That's going to be her shirt. Next, take one piece of green, either the dark green or the light green, either one. You can tell it's a different kind of green than what I did on the original. But pick one and we're gonna glue that down right above her shirt. Okay, and that's gonna be her head. So I'm gonna use the darker green. And I'm gonna glue this rectangle right here. All right. Now let's draw the face. We're gonna take the lighter green and starting, put it in front of you vertically so it's tall. Starting at the top, right in the center, we're gonna make a line coming down, straight down, about like three fingers down. And then we're gonna make a curved line like a letter C. This will be her nose. Stop the bottom of the C at about the same length across as the vertical line, and then come back down, okay? And we're gonna cut along that line. And we're gonna have two pieces of paper. Okay. So you could do Frankie like this and glue this paper down so that she has a dark green nose. Or you could use this piece so she has a light green nose. I think I'm gonna do this one so it kind of matches what, what I did here. Okay, so put the glue on the back. And then glue it on the left side. This is the one that has the nose. Keep this piece, we're gonna use this later. All right. Now let's do this triangle on her shirt here. So take this extra paper and just draw a big letter V on one of the sides like that. Okay, we're gonna cut that out and we're gonna glue that on the top of the purple right below her chin. Then it looks like she has a shirt on with a collar, okay? Good. Now you notice she has bolts in her neck. That's where Dr. Frankenstein would hook her up to the, um, the electricity, the lightning to create life, to make her come to life. So for this, if you notice, if I turn it this way, it looks like a letter T, capital letter T, like a bubble letter. So take a piece of the extra green paper and we're gonna fold it in half so we can make both letter T's at the same time, okay? Fold it in half and then 
make like a seven and then make like a flipped seven, kind of like that, like an upside down L. Okay, so it looks like a bubble letter T like that. See how it's like right on the edge? Then you're gonna cut it out and you'll have two letter T's and these look like bolts that they would use to build something, to screw something together. You take them apart, you should have two that are the same size. I mean, if, you could make one at a time if you want. Then we're gonna glue these on the sides of her head. Usually they're low, like by the neck. You can make one higher and one lower, okay? All right, we're moving along nicely. Now let's, um, let's do her hair. So you have a piece of black paper. The black paper is going to be used for the hair, the pupils of the eye, and the mouth shape, and um, the skull here. So let's see, to put it this way, looks like this one went this way. All right, so it's gonna go this way. And then on the black paper, I'm gonna draw in white colored pencil so you guys can see it. I'm gonna make zigzag lines like this, up, down, up, down, like a capital M, right? Or letter W, or letter V. So go all the way across like that. And then I noticed that I curved the top here. So the corners, just like we did on the purple shirt, just make a curve line like that so it's rounded off, okay? So let's cut that out. That's gonna be the top of her hair. So back and forth carefully with your scissors, cutting along that zigzag line. Now we're making Frankenstein's monster look like, like almost like a Pablo Picasso painting. He was a famous artist from Spain and one of his styles of painting is in his portraits of people, sometimes the eyes look really strange, like one would be bigger than the other. One side of the face would look different than the other side. So it worked out perfect for, for this, for Frankenstein's monster, Frankie. All right, so that hair looks pretty good. So I'm gonna glue that on top of her head. Okay. And then I have leftover black paper. We have to do these, like her pigtails here, right? So just like I did with the letter T for the bolt, since they're about the same, I'm gonna fold the paper in half. And then I'm just gonna draw one of these ponies, kind of like this, curve it around and then curve again. So it, it comes to a point, it's narrower here and wider here. And then keeping it folded, I'm gonna cut along that line and we'll see what we come up with here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Okay, and you can clean it up a bit. You can make more zigzags like on one side if you want, just like we did the top of her hair. Okay, maybe she's ready and getting ready to go to a party. She's doing her hair up nice. All right. So these go on the sides of her head, right about here. Okay, you can make them higher maybe like this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna glue those, these down. And I just realized we didn't do the ears yet. So it's up to you if you wanna do the ears. I'll show you how, but you don't have to do it. And let's make one pony a little bit lower than the other one. So it's, there we go. All right, let's do the ears. So with, with the green paper we have here, um, let's fold it in half. So I'm using the scrap paper again, so you don't have to get a brand new piece. And then I'm going to um, gonna make like a letter C. Make a letter C. That's like the shape of this ear. I'm gonna cut it out, cutting both ears at the same time. Okay. And then we could put one here and one on this side. Okay, you can make one lower than the other. All right, 
You could even give her earrings if you want. I didn't do that in mine, but that might be fun to make. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to do um, the bows. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use this piece of purple. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna make two bows at the same time. So if you guys can see this, I'm gonna start by making a circle and then I'm gonna make that come out like a triangle to the edge of the paper here. See that? All right, I'm gonna keep them folded and cut them out at the same time. Sometimes when I'm working, I don't even uh, draw everything out. I'm doing that for you guys. I just kind of draw with the scissors as I go. But that takes practice. You guys will be able to do that one day. You might be able to do that now. All right, so we got bows. One for each pigtail like that. There we go. Glue those down. You can make one bigger than the other if you want, but um, it makes it easy if you cut two out at once. All right, let's do the eyes. So for the eyes, you need two ovals. Um, I'm gonna do one at a time because they're different sizes. So on your white paper, you can draw two circles or oval shapes, make one big, and make one a little bit smaller, okay? Cut those out. I'm gonna cut inside the line so you don't see any of the black uh, colored pencil when I glue it. All right, so there's one. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. If you have something that you can trace to make the circle, you could do that. Maybe a bottle cap would work well. Oh, that's way too big, huh? I can't get the size right. All right, that'll work. All right, let's glue the white part of the eyes down. You could also give Frankie eyebrows if you want. I didn't do that on this one, but that's an option. Now the pupils, you need two black circles. So you could, you could draw the circles if you want. Okay, on the black paper. You can see what you're cutting. And when you glue it down, glue it down the drawing side down so you don't see those pencil lines. Okay, so that one's gonna go there. And you can make her looking in different directions. Like she's cross-eyed or just, you can make her funny. Okay, as funny as you'd like to make it. Okay. Make it silly. I'll make one eye going this way and one eye going this way. How about that? There we go. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the mouth. So, on this one, I made a smiling mouth. It's up to you what kind of mouth you want to make. Um, so I'm going to copy this one. And on your black paper, you just draw like a smile, like a curve like that. So you guys can see it. And then draw the bottom of it. It's kind of like a crescent shape, like a banana shape.
All right, see if it fits. Glue it down. She's happy to be all dressed up. Now we're gonna add some teeth. So take your white paper. And for this, you don't really have to draw out the teeth. I'm just gonna cut the white paper into a couple strips like this. And then you could stack the strips up like that. And then you can cut all three at the same time. Then you have a lot of teeth. And you put them wherever you like. You could give Frankie pointy teeth. You can round off the corners of these squares and rectangles if you want. It's up to you, whatever you like. This for now. Down. All right. Messed up there. There we go. All right, remember that the, the glue will dry clear, so it's all right. And you might have some extra teeth you won't use. Okay, we're almost done. She's looking pretty good. Looking pretty silly. So for the skull that I have on her shirt, um, go back to the white paper that you have. And then to draw the skull shape, you can start by drawing, just draw like a circle like this. Okay. And then at the bottom, you kind of make like half of a square kind of, all right? Something like that, you can round it off. So then we're gonna cut that shape out. This might be too big. Let's see how it looks. It's way too big. All right, I'm gonna trim it down. See, I'm still working with the original. I didn't start over. Something like that. It looks like a mushroom. So I'm going to glue that down. She's got that sewn into her shirt. Maybe it's embroidered. Um, then we're going to make two little circles, a little triangle, and um, make it look like it has teeth. So I'm going to cut... For this, you could fold the paper in half and cut two small circles at the same time. You could also use a hole punch if you have a hole punch. That, that's great for making small circles. All right, Let's see how that looks. A little dot, there are my two circles. These are really tiny, what we're cutting out right now. So we're gonna cut out a nose. A little tiny triangle nose. And I lost it, there it is. Very tiny. You guys can see it. I'm having trouble seeing it. All right, just a little tiny dot. Oh, it's upside down, no. All right, and then for the teeth, um, I'm trying to think what the best way to show you how to do that. I guess with a white colored pencil, it's kind of like, like if you make a line like this. See, that's what I was trying for when I did this. So if you draw something like that, you make, you make a horizontal line and then three ones. And then what you do is when you're cutting it out, you cut around the pencil lines and in between and then that'll give you the black line so it looks like the black lines between the teeth you gotta really watch your fingers when you're cutting this part now you don't have to do this skull part you can just leave it without that on the shirt 
All right, let's see how that looks. See what I was talking about? And then I, you can glue that down. Whoa, too much glue. All right, and there we go. She's looking good, looking good, Frankie. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun making Frankie, a girl version of Frankenstein's monster in the style of Pablo Picasso. See you next time.